understand. Why is my double old? You're 11 and you have white hair. I did the best I could. I came out of retirement for this gig. These days, I mostly just sit around reading in my underwear. Never mind, he's perfect. Okay, famo. Now that everyone's got a double, it's time to teach them how to look and act just like us. We've got to work fast. Luann gets home at five, and if she finds the house empty... Are you picking up on this? I talk with my hands. Big hand talker right here. Good luck to you guys. Are you sure you're ready? Don't worry about us. We're gonna be A-okay. Gather round. We can follow the action via the cameras I installed in everyone's room last year. Last night. What the heck? I paid good money for them to get their butts pranked off. Wait a minute. I get it. Luann's prank this year was not to prank us at all. What do you mean, Mom? <laughs> she knew we'd go crazy trying to protect ourselves, so she just let us chase our tails. Oh, you're right. She is good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I may have burned through all our savings, but at least it's over. Over? It's just getting started. <gasps> you know, family, I had a whole different plan in mind for today, but I'll save that for next year, because once I saw the amazing doubles you guys found, I was inspired to do something even better. So stay tuned, because the rest of this day is going to be doubly special. <laughs> Get it? You don't now, but you will. Ah, it's old Lincoln. What's he doing? Did he get lost? He... <laughs> Mrs. Johnson, it's me, Lincoln. I can't get through another day of school without telling you, you are the center of my universe, and I love you! Oh, no! Ugh. Wait! That's my pageant studio! Hi, Lindsay! I know I won Miss Junior Royal Woods this year, but the truth is, your neck is straighter, your hair holds curls better than mine, and your baton twirling puts mine to shame. So here, this really belongs to you. <laughs> Oh, sweet irony. We handed Luann the perfect weapons to destroy us. Oh, no. My salon. I love my new perm. I can't wait to show all my friends. Ah! Dude, stop. I think I want to take this thing in a new direction. Bogus. That's not even good polka. Oh. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. A worm. I wouldn't run from it. I'd eat it. Uh, why is my double playing against that dweeb? It's not going to be much of a competition. No! My 300 game winning streak! What is she doing at my publishers? I know I said I needed another month to work on my novel, but I decided it's actually ready. No! The ending is wrong. I wanted it all to be a dream. Colleagues, I believe that my latest presentation will knock your proverbial socks off. Ooh. This is a kitty. He says meow. The eyes are the windows to the soul, and it's time I bear mine to you. Gasp, those were never meant to be seen. Bangers and Mosh, the British eatery and rock venue? Oh, what's he doing there? Welcome to the Are You a True Englishman trivia challenge. First question, in what city is the Tower of London. Oh, I got this one. Rome. <gasps> Thanks for coming all the way here to meet me, Boo Boo Bear. I just really missed you. Oh, that was my shoe. That was my other shoe. I have some extra shoes in my bag. Uh, Mom, what's going on? Obviously, we're moving, honey. You should go pack your things. What? Why? Well, it's not like we can stay. You pretty much ruined our lives here. Okay, guys. Nice try. You almost had me there for a moment. Is this the La Oud's residence? No! We can't leave! Royal Woods is our home! I'm so sorry! I'll never prank you again! April Fools! I really gotta hand it to you guys. You're really starting to get the hang of this. May I have your attention, please? I have an important message from Ernesto Estrella. Hola, eres 
Sai, Ernesto Stray. I am getting a strong sign that Great Lake City is extremely bad luck right now. I will return when the dark cloud has lifted. Until next time, Miss Estreitas. Con amor y suerte. The only way to lift this curse is to use Ernesto Estrella's immortal words. Vete, vete, vete. Mala suerte, suerte, suerte. Bad luck, go away. Come again another day. Or don't. Vete, what flavor vete, juice vete. box do you want for the Mala park? Suerte, Red suerte, or suerte. purple? Mm. Purple. Great Lake City is extremely bad luck, Rosa. Keep your babies safe. Eh, I would have gone with the rain. <gasps> you must stay inside. You are forbidden from going to the park. <laughs> okay, Abuela's lost it. I know, we have to prove the city's not cursed or we'll never leave the house again. Places, everyone. City of good luck. Take one and action. I'm Ronnie Ann, proud citizen of Great Lake City. Here I am enjoying some cotton candy. Mm. News fast, not gonna win any awards. Hey. You the cotton candy. As you can see, no bad luck here. Ah, run for your lives! There's so much bad luck here! Ah! Sergio just showed me the video! Sergio! Why? Ah, proud of my work. Abuela, we can explain. No, I'll explain. The bad luck has only just begun, Rosa. Get out while you still can. Ernesto's right. We are no longer safe here. The Casa Grandes must leave Great Lake City. I hope we're not putting you out. Oh, Gilly. Oh. Of course not. We totally have space for 12 extra people. Yeah. 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 Just don't touch my stuff. Oh, I'm gonna touch it all. Oh, we gotta find a way to end this nightmare. I miss my choo-choo sheets. I miss you not being here. Mm. Stop it! I'm okay. Well, that was bad luck. Good thing your abuela didn't see that. Logically speaking, you'd want her to see that. It proves that bad luck can happen anywhere. Wait a minute. Lisa's right. If we can show Abuela that bad luck can happen here, too, maybe she'll let us go home. <laughs> Salty food, black laundry, floating coffins. <gasps> now I understand. That bad luck can happen anywhere? See, <gasps> anywhere we go, because we are the bad luck. Huh? Wait, what? We must go where we can't hurt anyone. To the woods. Que feo! This pimple has gotten even bigger. My fans can see me like this. Ernesto Estrella? Oh, a fan. I love fans. You lied about Great Lake City being cursed because of a pimple? Oh, an angry fan. Estrella out! You're not on TV right now. That's not going to work. Thanks to you, my abuela made us leave Great Lake City, and now she's taking us to live in the woods. I... I didn't see that coming. I'm so sorry, muchacha. I never thought my words could cause so much trouble. Please, let me try to fix this. You better fix this. <laughs> Let's get cleansed. <laughs> What can I 
say? Ernesto is the best. Booyah! <laughs> I meant to do that. Wanted a family vacation? Just to get out of town. Had it all planned, packed up the van, ended up in a ditch. Somehow we got the blues, baby. Those road tripping blues. Bad, bad news. You see, now we're the baby's crying. She's probably mad we left her behind. Road, road tripping blues. La, la, la. AC broken, Vanzilla. The windows won't roll down. The bean chips of doom. They spread noxious fumes. Can't breathe. I think Mom passed out. We got the blues, baby. Those road tripping blues. Bad, bad news. The dog ran off. The baby's still crying. At least we didn't forget her this time. Road, road tripping. and her baby pull over. <laughs> Hi! Would you mind pulling over, please? <laughs> well, that was a wash. <laughs> Too soon, honey. Uh, excuse me, guys. I gotta lighten my load. Whoa! You guys have to see this! Just fill up the hole, sweetie. We don't need to see it. Not that. I found our ticket out of here. Though, watch your step. I also pooped. <sighs> that thing will never fly. Leave that to me. I'll have her up and running in no time. Well, even so, who's going to fly it? How about Lori? She's been crop dusting us all day. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I told you it was the seat. Right. I can fly the plane. Pop Pop taught me. He flew jets in the military. Mom, that is so cool. That's nothing. You should see me pop wheelies in a tank, baby. <gasps> is there anything else we don't know about you, honey? Honey? Frida? Some parts were missing, so I had to improvise. With a diaper? A nighttime diaper. For extra strength. I even found some paint to give old Shaky a facelift. And I painted Lori on the crop duster. <laughs> It doesn't even look like me. Uh, you sure you know what you're doing? You <laughs> got our whole family in here. Oh, except Lily. Ugh. Hey, that one is on all of you. I'm flying the plane here. Mom, you, uh, see the silo, right? This is an airplane. Bang Julie! Bang Julie! Whoa! It shows just right, dudes! Look over there! <gasps> My baby! After that car carrier! What about our 8 o'clock check-in time? The way your mother flies, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Move it, Slowpoke! I'm behind schedule! <laughs> Speed limit enforced by aircraft? Yeah, I'll bet! Dang it! If I get one more ticket, I'll be driving a golf cart! Pop Pop taught me how to handle wise guys like this. Let's take it to him! My hi-hat! Focus! My kettlebells! Crud! My puzzles! Ding, ding, darn it! <laughs> <gasps> my baby! 
man, nothing stops this guy. Wait a minute, we have a crop duster. Uh, why are you guys always piling on me? Lori, I'm talking about the plane. Uh. Get in front of them, Mom! Eat hot fertilizer! <laughs> You'll never get me, Popo! Okay, people, we've got a check-in to make. Oh, uh, it's okay. It's just a little scratched. My babies! I thought I lost you! Wouldn't that have been tragic? <laughs> well, honey, we made it. Our first real family vacation. I think we should make this a loud family tradition. What are you wearing? What? Haven't you ever seen a pizza tux? Now, there's a lot more you need to know, so I put it in this quick reference guide. Look, I'm reading it right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm staying here. Bobby, go. You're going to be late. We've got this. <laughs> yeah, I could run this place in my sleep. People bring groceries to the counter. We take their money. I eat a fistful of Choi Choi's. That you buy at the employee discount rate? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Bobby. I'm coming, babe. Oh, no, I forgot to tell them something. Phone, call Ronnie Ann. Hey, Bobby, what's up? I forgot to tell you. The restrooms are for customers only. They gotta buy something. I usually encourage them to buy toilet paper. That's why you called? Okay, I think we got it, Bobby. Adios. What now? If anyone comes in for walnuts... No one will. Walnuts are the worst nut. Ah. Hey, guys, where do you want these mangoes? Just getting in a quick set. Ah. Thanks, Par. Just set them by the fish. No! Not by the fish. They'll absorb the fish smell. And don't let Par do any more exercises with the fruit. Bobby, quit worrying. We've got this. I'll just do a visual check-in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I told Maybelle she can't just sample the grapes like that. <laughs> ah! One guess who it is. Hey, I told you to stay away from those chewy chewies. There better be 97 when I get back. Huh? And you have a cold purple. Maybelle's eating grapes. How do you know all of that? Uh, Mercado Instinct. Hey, did you change my music? Bobby's Mercado Mix number seven was carefully selected to stimulate more shopping. Mercado Instinct, huh? More like you're spying on us with the security camera. Wait, I'm not spying. What, what are you doing? They cut me off. What am I gonna do? Why don't you grab us a table while I park the van? <laughs> BRBB. Be right back. What's the extra B for? Bay. <laughs> Bobby? That's right. I don't appreciate being cut off. Yuck! From communication. Well, we didn't appreciate you spying on us. We've all helped out here and know what to do. Look around. Nothing went wrong. How can you say that? The mangoes smell like trout. The milk is facing the wrong way. This can is off by a centimeter. You're being so picky. That stuff doesn't matter. It matters to me. I don't need a bunch of kids coming in here and changing everything. You'll understand when you're older. Oh, I think we understand now. You just like the Mercado run in a very specific way. So run it yourself. Yeah, you're quick. Later, Hefe. Now what? I can't close the Mercado. Par's gonna need his post-workout protein bar soon. And Mr. Chang's gonna need his coffee for his night shift. Plus, Lori's waiting on me. Oh no, Lori. <laughs> Maybelle, I'll be right back. The food got here. Try this. <laughs> Sorry, babe. My pepperoni cufflinks are coming off. Be right back. Yeah. Yeah. I knew it! You were with your other love on our anniversary! No, 
Maybelle and I are just friends. Maybe if I was 50 years younger. <laughs> I mean, the Mercado, Bobby. <sighs> no, L Lori! Ugh. Lori! Babe, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for tonight to turn out like this. I can't believe you drove me all the way to the city just so you could work on our anniversary. That wasn't the plan. It was supposed to be a really special night. I left Ronnie Ann, Carl, and CJ in charge of the Mercado, but they were messing things up. They changed the music to K-pop, and they put the mangoes by the fish? That's it? So they didn't upset any customers? Burn the place down? No, but... Bobby, everyone in your family cares about the Mercado. No one would ever let anything truly bad happen to it. Right, but... Maybe they have their own way of doing things, and you just need to trust them. You're right. I'm sorry. I guess I do have a hard time giving up control of the Mercado. It's okay. You're just really passionate about what you do, and I love that about you. Also, you look really cute in your pizza tux. Thanks, babe. Let me make this night up to you. B-R-B-B. -B. <sighs> Last one. Oh, Boo Boo Bear, this is so romantic. And these pizza tacos your abuela made are delicious. Thanks, babe. I'm just glad we're finally celebrating our pizzaversary the way you deserve. Thanks, Boo Boo Bear. Literally, best pizzaversary ever. Uh oh, maybe Tia Frida shouldn't have used real pepperonis. Stop, no, you, go! Ah! <laughs> Which is it? Aloha Beach or Dairyland? Oh, they didn't say. I guess it's up to us to decide. All in favor of Aloha Beach? One, two, three, four, five. You want to go to the beach, Lucy? Two words. Shark attacks. All in favor of Dairyland? One, two, three, four, five. It's five against five. We win! It's a tie, Lenny. Wait a minute. Lincoln didn't vote. Well, Lincoln, what's it gonna be? It's so hard to choose. I really like the beach. But I love Dairyland. I don't know. I can't decide. I need more time. Can I have till the end of the day? Fine. You have until the end of the day to decide. Hiya, Lincoln. Tippy the cow. Well, that's right. And guess what I have for my favorite fan? You did my laundry? Wow, thanks, Tippy. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll see you soon at America's favorite dairy-themed amusement park. <laughs> Bye, Tippy. Oh, I love that cow. <laughs> welcome to your own private beach, where we have sun, sand, and surf. Don't forget screams. <laughs> and if you vote Team Beach, the fun will literally never stop. Yeah. If you need anything else, just give us a toot. What's happening? All aboard the Ice Creamer! Please keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all times. Woohoo! Faster! Faster! <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the ride, bro. If you vote for Dairyland, you'll have 2% more fun. <laughs> if you require our services, just call on Team Tippy. Sunscreen. Perfect for my fair skin. Hmm, tingly. Ah! News flash! Giving me a sunburn is not the way to win my vote. Huh? Sodium hydrochloride? Avoid contact with skin? This has Lisa written all over it. So that's how you spell Lisa? 
Dippy! Madco! Madco! Well, worked like a charm. Aloha Beach is in our future. We knew it! You've been sabotaging us! We sabotaged you! You put sand in Lincoln's underpants! But you started it with the line for the bathroom! Can I get an ice pack? Some bandages? A hug? Where is everybody? No, 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 I'm blowing the conch, I'm ringing the bell, and yet nothing. You! This is all your fault. Yeah, if you had just made up your mind, none of this would have happened. If you had to make me mind. Great. I was afraid of making five of my sisters mad at me, but now all ten are. There's only one thing left to do. Fine with us, sweetie. Sure, son. I don't see why not. Quiet down! I've made my decision. We're going to... Scratchy Bottom Campgrounds. What? What? Well, what about the bears? And the dipterum calicidae bike? And the pooping in the woods? That's still the only reason I'd go. <sighs> this is literally going to be the worst vacation ever. This is literally the best vacation ever. Yeah, that's the best. Why were we so against this place? <laughs> Okay, leftover hash. Let's see. A plus for presentation, A plus for smell, and A plus plus for texture. Delicate yet chunky. Wow. Thanks, kiddo. Gee, I can't imagine what's keeping Lola. Let me go check. <laughs> How was your day, sweetie? Oh, um, you know, uh, pageants and, uh, glitter. And, um, crowns, probably. Ha! <laughs> Just another day in the life of Lola. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow! A clean plate and an A-plus for texture? Last time I served leftover hash, you ate the rating card and told me it tasted better. You feeling okay? Oh, um, I meant F! Yeah, that's my Lola. Oh, that worked awesome! No one suspected anything! <clears throat> well, if I can ever return the favor, just let me... Lola, Lana, it's bath night. I'll be inspecting fingernails and ears. It's favor time. Nail inspection. Lola, come on out. Mm -hmm. Good job as always, sweetie. Go tell Lana it's her turn, please. Of course, Mommy. <laughs> Sorry, gotta make it believable. Sup, Mom? I'm ready for my bath. Lola, I mean, do I gotta? I like all this mud and filth and grime. Bath. <laughs> Wow, Lana, you're sparkling. You know it. I mean, uh, don't get used to it. I got plans to hang out with uh, some worms later. This plan was genius, Lulz. I'd say it's nothing, but we both know modesty doesn't suit me. I was thinking, why stop now? We could switch places whenever we want. <gasps> We'd never have to do the things we don't like ever again. How was school today, guys? Great. Best day ever. Well, I hope this won't put a damper on it, but Lola, you have a checkup with Dr. Peterson, and Lana, you're scheduled for a teeth cleaning with Dr. Feinstein. Ah, I hate being around all those sick people. Plus, Dr. Peterson's office smells like old cheese. I don't want to see Dr. Feinstein. Drills are for engine mounts and lug nuts, not teeth. Oopsie, I seem to have spilled my book bag. Lana, would you be so kind as to join me on the floor and help me retrieve my things? Get it yourself. Oh, uh, it would be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's get these appointments over with. Huh? Yeah! 
Great news, Lowell's. Mayor Davis just called. I won the recycling challenge. Free ice cream, here I come. Whoa, 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 Let's see. Ah. Uh, okay, I don't really see. <gasps> oh, it's so gross. And looks really painful, too. <gasps> uh, Gazuntite. You getting sick? No. Being sick is not allowed. My ribbon dance recital is today, and I've invested far too much glitter. Well, uh, have fun. Oh, ow! Thanks, you too. <laughs> Lola! There's my ribbon dancing champ. You ready to dazzle those judges? Ooh, that's the look of a killer. Break a leg, honey. Yeah! <laughs> Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream! Well, hello, sweetie. Congrats on winning the Royal Woods Recycling Challenge. Your prize is one of my world-famous anti-pamped slams. All 50 flavors with every topping you could ever dream of! Is everything okay, sweetheart? Uh-huh. It's fantastic! Well, then, have some more, you recycling champion, you! Oh! Oh! I can't! I can't eat it! What's wrong, Lana? Uh... <gasps> oh, my God! <laughs> Oh, here, here you, you go, go, my, my little, little angel. angel. <gasps> oh. This is unacceptable. Lola just saw that doctor. How can she have a cold? And Lana just saw the dentist. How did he miss what is clearly an abscess? You call Feinstein and I'll call Peterson. Time to give those so-called medical professionals the what for. Wait! <laughs> Don't call anyone! This isn't their fault. This is on uh -huh. Ow! us. What do you mean? I didn't want to go to the dentist. And I didn't want to go to the doctor, so we... Kind of switched places. Kind of? Kind of totally? Actually, we've been doing it for a couple of days now to get out of all sorts of stuff. Your mother and I are not happy that you've been lying. No, we're not. You're not babies anymore, and sometimes you have to do things you don't necessarily like or want to. Like plucking nose hairs or visiting Aunt Ruth. Uh, but part of growing up is being responsible and doing those things. You're right. We're sorry. We'll schedule new appointments for you with Dr. Peterson and Dr. Feinstein right away. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll definitely go as ourselves. I can't go back to Auntie Pam's until they see dental x-ray anyway. And I'm not allowed back on the ribbon dancing circuit until I produce a note from the Center for Disease Control. <laughs> Me. You got it, honey. Tonight's dinner is leftover, leftover hash. Mm, boy, oh boy, that squid and sauerkraut sure has gotten pungent. No, no, don't worry. I got this. Wow, the squid mixed with the liver and the lima beans. Separately, I was not a fan. Yes, you made that clear. But together, it's actually delicious. Give me that rating card. A plus. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> this is going right on the fridge. Hmm, I wonder how Lana's bath is going. Oh yeah! I take it you enjoyed your bath? Yeah! It's worth being clean to see how brown the water got. But the best part was this. <laughs> I found it in the drain. Can I keep him? Sure. <laughs> oh, I am obsessed with those tamales. I dreamt about them all night. Uh, well, I can't find out or we're rat bait. We need a plan. I'm one step ahead of you. I mapped out Abuela's schedule. She's got cooking from 7 to 8, building repairs from 10 to 2, and laundry from 3 to 4. 
She'll be the most distracted during the repairs. So that's when we hit the truck. Bobito, the onions are too strong for your sensitive eyes. No, no, this, this is great. All right, then I'm off to Jack's Hardware for a new plumbing snake. Fashion plate, we have a situation. Mama Grande is on the move. Uh, Abuela, quick! I need one of your famous remedies to cure this rash. Uh, three chicken and three pork. We're out of pork. Get the chicken. No, the beef. Oh, can they check the back? Ugh, I'm making an executive decision. Uh, five beef and five chicken. Oh, I just remembered. I put the remedy on the windowsill. No! Wait, 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 wait. I think I feel better. Uh, do you guys have a loyalty card? No. Abuela, no! I'm fine! Amazing! Oh, worth it! Mm -hmm. So good! Deliciosos. Good job, team! We pulled it off! First aid! <laughs> Outside tamales! Quick! Grab his camera! Oh. Backed up to the cloud. What do you want, Sergio? A tamale? <laughs> Thinking bigger. <laughs> More bubbles for my friends! Fiji looks nice. Or maybe Brazil. Now he wants to go to Fiji? How are we going to afford tickets to Europe? Ah! Fiji is not in your... Oh, this is ridiculous. Don't worry. I think I have a solution to all of our problems. Hey, Dad. How's it going? Muy bien, Ranita. Just testing out the healing powers of bat dung. Awesome. So, quick question. Can Sergio come visit you in Peru? Well, sure. Claro, mija. He can stay as long as he'd like. Right, guys? See? They agree. Thanks, Dad. Good luck with the dung. Bye. BRB. <laughs> Hey, Sergio, come on down to the basement. We have your next present. What? Oh, is it my fur coat? Get him! Ah, it's a trap! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> ah. oh. Stop resisting! You're only making it worse! Ah. Ah, not going down! He's getting away! After him! Look out! He's got the marshmallow blaster! Oh, I'll get him with my ninja skills! Carlotta, let's trap him! Ah, think again! Ah, sorry! No? Hello! They're trying to send me away! What's going on? She's right. We have lost our minds. I can't believe we're trying to get rid of Sergio over something so silly. Guys, we have to come clean. Uh, you're right, Ronaldo. Can you do it? Thanks. Ah! Abuela, we've been going to the new tamale truck across the street. And Sergio was threatening to tell you unless we gave in to all his demands. But we never should have lied to you in the first place. We're so sorry. I'm sorry, so Abuela. Sorry. I'm still your so favorite, sorry. right? So, what do you like about those tamales? Are they better than mine? Oh, um... Okay, they are better than yours. I'm so sorry. Please don't make us eat frozen waffles. <laughs> Glad to hear you love my tamales. What? what? Gabby, the woman who owns the tamale truck is using my recipe. Since when do you give away your recipes? Well, we made a little swap. Her husband owns Jack's hardware store. So she got the recipe, and I got a lifetime discount on tools. I'm glad I wasn't paying full price for those new tools. My delicious tamales are paying for them. Thank you very much. Rat, happy ending. Well, I'll be in my room. Not so fast. Blackmailing your family? Shame on you, Sergio. I think I know a way Sergio can make it up to us. No. Sergio, we need more ice. Rat, I'm coming, I'm coming. 
Sergio, más agua fresca, por And then you can walk Lalo. This doesn't look like a different dimension. That is literally LOL. Hurry up, Lonnie, time to go. Ooh. Whoa, Loki, who moved the doorway? I'm ready, bruh. Let's rock. I wouldn't miss it. A <laughs> Good one, Mrs. Coconut. <laughs> Safety do. Hut. Oh, sigh. Quit honking, Lex, or you'll get a frog down your pants. <gasps> Touch me, and I'm telling. Can you crow magnets diminish the cacophony so our youngest sibling can suspend consciousness? Speak English, Levi! Shut your pie hole so Leon can nap. Holy moly! Will you be joining us, Lincoln? Uh, where are we going? The mall? <laughs> Right. You're literally hilarious, Lincoln. We're going to Dairyland. It was your idea. Sweet! My sisters would never all want to go to Dairyland. <clears throat> sisters? Uh, you know, the nuns. They hate amusement parks. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Dairyland was awesome! Great idea, Lincoln. Yeah, way to go, bro. Lincoln, 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 Lincoln. Lincoln. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. You should be sorry, because that was weak. <laughs> huh, that was nothing. Check this. Oh, yeah? Well, nothing beats the real thing. <laughs> Chow time, boys. Gus is games and grub. No way. Five pies for ten guys. I sure hope Mom and Dad gave us enough dough. <laughs> Get it? Sorry, I'm touching the pizza with my booger-picking finger. Are you kidding me? You use your finger for your booger-picking? I use my thumb. Really? Uh, really? really? Uh, I use uh, my thumb. I use yeah. this one. There's my army. How was Dairyland? It was awesome. Hi, Mom. Uh, Bye, Mom. Hey, boys. Hi, Long Dad. Oh! Say, Uncle. I thought he was our dad. Uncle! Oh, that <laughs> oh, sometimes I wonder what it would be like to have daughters. Only 12 more hours. I wish this didn't have to end. Wait, why does it have to? What if I didn't go back? <laughs> Guys, guess what? I'm staying! Okay. Whatever. Uh. Hang on, bros. Let me grab my hockey stick. Ugh. Uh, hey. Lynn, <laughs> where's my room? Right where it always is, weirdo. Three of us live in here? Where else would we sleep? The linen closet? <laughs> hey, where's Bun Bun? Luke flushed him. Lars gave him a very dignified funeral. Thank you. Not Bun Bun! Well, uh, night, bro. Ow. Ah! Oh, there's my bat colony. Ah! Oh. One for waking me. Ugh. Ow. And one for scratching my coffin. Ow. No line for the bathroom? Sweet. Ah! 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 Oh, what's your damage, bro? You woke me up. Look, the bathroom is disgusting. You're right, bro. We can't live like this. Let's go clean it. We'll start with the toilet. Huh? Hey, hey, hey! Swirly time, ah! dude! Remember what I said about staying here forever? Yeah, that's not happening. Whew, I still have five minutes to get back. Where is it? Whoa, check out this sweet watch. Hey, that's mine. Finders keepers, loser. No, I need that. <laughs> Keep away with Uncle Lincoln's watch. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it's serious. Pile <laughs> 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 on, Dad. <laughs> yes! oh, 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 uncle, uncle, uncle. <laughs> 
just in time. He's thinking I almost forgot something. Miss <laughs> <sighs> 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 Ninos, I missed you so much. Are you okay? Was it terrible? Did you have an awful time? You must be starving. Look at you. Come with me. Eat. Eat. Actually, we had the best time. What? Yeah, Dad's apartment is amazing. He has central AC and a bathtub the size of a pool. And he bought Ronnie Ann a new video game console. And he got me a new tablet to keep at his place. That's great, guys. Mm hmm Great. <laughs> Don't you see what's happening? Arturo's trying to make the kids like him better than us. It's just like what happened to my comadre Juanita's best friend's primo's hairdresser. Uh, here we go. Ay, 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 ay. Her kids liked her ex-husband's apartment so much that they wanted to spend more and more time there with him. And pretty soon, she barely knew her own kids. Mom, you're being ridiculous. Okay, fine. I'll just let this go. We're not letting this go. We just got those kids. Why do I have to be involved? Do I at least get a snack? Fine, I'll make you a burrito. Now listen, this week I'm going to show the kids that there is no better home than right here. And you, you're going to get them bigger, better, expensive gadgets. Say what now? This is important, Hector. It's not the time to be cheap. But... <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this, Abuela? Of course. I've always wanted to shred. Here, let me help. Huh? Oh, look! I'm doing it! Ah! 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 You really stuck the landing there. <laughs> okay, Bobby, pitch me the ball. <gasps> uh -oh! You're out! I mean, are you okay? It's great you want to learn about K-pop, Abuela. You know me. Can't get enough. Ten is evening. It's 12 is midnight. <laughs> They're known for the choreography. Now you try. Huevos con chorizo para mis bebés. Pretty great week, huh? So, what do you want to do today? Monster trucks? Carnival? Oh, we're going to Dad's. Oh? But I thought we were spending this weekend together. Well, Dad got the weekend off. And Mom said he was okay, so... I see. Well, that's nice. What if Arturo moves back to Peru and the kids want to go with him? No one is moving to Peru anytime soon. Arturo just got here, so the kids are excited. That's all. Seriously, let it go. Okay, I'll let it go. Bye. We're not letting it go. The kids like Arturo's apartment too much. Right? We can fix that. Exactly. We just have to make it bad enough that Miss Bebes will want to come home. We should have an hour till they get back. He took them to the batting cages. So dangerous. Sergio, you go through the mail slot and open the door. Roger that! <laughs> Sergio, open the door! <laughs> What's the password? How about bird soup? Jeez, learn to take a joke. Let's see how the kids like this place without their fancy cable. And now for my secret weapon. Crickets! <laughs> Perfecto. These grillos won't let anyone sleep tonight. Sergio, stop eating the secret weapon. Now, I'm going to go cut the hot water. You keep an eye out for Arturo and the kids. Ooh, Sergio like. Oh, 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 oh. We didn't have to leave. I'm okay. It was pretty slow for a fastball. Oh, wow. When did my hand get so big? Come on. I'll make you a torta. It'll make you feel better, Bobby. Yum. Oh, oh. That must hurt. Yeah. Oh. Sergio, you were supposed to be watching for them. You're fired. Who wants some tortas? I do. Me, 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 me. Ooh, hey, look. 
I'm on TV. Here, why don't you sit down, Bobby? Weird, what's up with the TV? Every channel's the same. How are we going to get out of here? Every man for himself! <laughs> Hi, Sergio. Boy, you really got bopped good. Que tranzas. There's no hot water. No worries, Dad. Abuela can fix that. She can fix anything. Oh, yeah. She can also cook anything and pretty much do anything. She's amazing. <gasps> I'll just give her a call. Weird. It's not getting through. Uh, let me try. Abuela? Abuela? That's so funny. We were just calling you. How did you get here so fast? Ah, it was all her idea. See ya, suckers! Rosa? What are you doing? ¿Qué haces aquí? I can explain everything. I was worried that you kids were having so much fun with your dad that you'd want to live with him forever. I thought you might even move to Peru. So I came up with a plan to wreck your apartment. Sergio was helping me. Ah, you can't prove anything! Ay, Rosa, what are you talking about? I never plan on the kids moving in with me. Where'd you get that crazy idea, abuela? Her two o'clock telenovela? <laughs> you know, the whole time I was away in Peru, I couldn't imagine Ronald and Roberto in better hands. I love that they're with the whole familia. They're both so happy and, and, and doing so well. Yeah, home is always gonna be with you, abuela. Right, Bobby? I'm Bobby. Don't worry. He should be fine in a couple of hours. <laughs> Miss Bebes! <gasps> and just so you know, I don't plan on being super fun dad all the time. Skateboarding is much harder than I thought. I miss Pompies. I hear that. She and A in science. <laughs> and A in rugging. And A in math. $4.11, or approximately 416 Japanese yen. Also, I took the liberty of preparing your tax returns. An A in physical education, an A in vocabulary, and an F in social skills. Perfect. Uh, wait, what? An F? <gasps> Excuse me, Miss Renovas. There appears to be an error in my academic evaluation. If you could just go ahead and remedy that, I'll be on my merry way. Actually, Lisa, that's not an error. You got an F because you haven't made a single friend in class yet. I prefer to see my classmates as co-workers, or occasionally test subjects. Look, how can I turn this around? In the future, when I represent Earth in the Interplanetary Council, it's gonna be acutely embarrassing to have an F on my otherwise perfect academic records. Tell you what, if you make a friend, I'll raise your grade. Done. I made one. Behold the FriendBot 1000. It can bring me things I need. Thank you, FriendBot. It can also chill juice boxes with its ice vision. Uh-uh, ah! Lisa. No robots. Humans only. Preferably a classmate. Hmm. A real stickler, huh? Very well. I will make a human friend. However one goes about doing that. And left kick, right stomp. Wait, hang on. Oops, Ugh, it goes so fast. Don't worry, Clyde, you're looking good. Observation number one. Friendship seems to require compliments and flattery, whether deserved or not. <laughs> nice snipe. But you won't be so lucky next time. Observation number two, friendship also appears to require engaging in casual sport and or play. <laughs> Look at this dress I found in the hand-me-downs from Aunt Ruth. Wow! It's so outdated, it's back to being trendy again. You're so lucky. I wish I'd found it. Why don't we share it? <gasps> Great idea! Observation number three, friendship requires the sharing of goods and commodities. One, two, three, four! Observation number four. Friendship requires common interests. Man, we are so good! Also common delusions. Okay, compliment, sport and or play, sharing and common interests. I'm ready. I shall befriend the first person to walk through the door. 
No, oh, not Petey Wimple. He's paste. Mm, not Charlotte Yang. She's a biter. <gasps> Darcy Holmendaller. She'll do. Greetings, Darcy. I have observed that your sneakers light up. Though they appear to lack purpose, I would like to compliment you on their whimsy. Thanks, Lisa. I've always liked your shoes, too. They remind me of my grandpa's. Compliment has been administered. Subject appears to be receptive to pursuing friendship. Greetings. Would you care to join me in casual sport and or play? Sure. Do you like the seesaw? Can't say I've heard of it, but, uh, what the heck? Whee! Isn't this fun? The subject's dilated pupils seem to indicate further cementing of friendship. I got a tinkle. No. Care to share my homemade cup weather? Full of nutrients, but zero taste. So it goes down smooth. Oh, um, okay. Thanks, Lisa. It's so chewy. Oh, I see we have a common interest in the Giraffa Camillo Pardalus. Oh, you mean Rafo. You have a stuffed giraffe, too? N no, but I have a giraffe cerebrum soaking in formaldehyde. <laughs> you use funny words, Lisa. Okay, class, it's sharing time. Who wants to start? Ooh, ooh, I have something to share. It's my new friend, Lisa. Great sharing, Darcy. And great social skills, Lisa. You just turned that F into an A. Aw, you look so cute. Now, come on. I have even more surprises. Shh. What have you done with my cobwebs? Oh, sweetie. I tore them all down because they had spiders in them. Yes. Elijah, Amaria, and little Jojo. May they rest in peace. Uh, where are my lucky jerseys? They should be in a big, messy pile right here. I took them to the dry cleaners. They got every last stain out. Oh, so everything then made them lucky. Well, who needs luck when you have talent like yours? In conclusion, I have identified the necessary isotope for the... Ooh, you're talking to your little science friends? Hi, I'm Lisa's grand grand. Yes, we're in the middle of something important right now. Perhaps you could excuse us? Oh, you know what? You just do your thing like I'm not even here, and I'll just be tidying up. I prefer you don't. Ooh, these beakers are full of gunk. No, wait! <laughs> I usually have a barber do this. Well, why pay a stranger when you've got a grand-grand? There. Oh, you look so handsome. That haircut really bowls me over. Oh. Sit shine. Oh, there. No mud, no makeup, just sparkling faces that I could eat right now with some steak sauce. No, 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 no. Um, what happened to our episodes of Nail Polish Wars? Oh, ah! I deleted those. Yeah, see, the language is just so negative. Adios, grandbabies! See you real soon! That woman is a nightmare. No way I'm calling her Grand Grand. It gets worse! Look, she left her day planner. <gasps> She's coming to all my games for the rest of this season? My conference in Sweden? How did she get clearance? She's coming on my next date with Bobby? We have to do something. We can't live like this. You especially can't, brah. Well, there is one thing we could do. Break them up. Oh, oh, so that's terrible. Is it, though? I mean, Pop Pop is such an awesome guy. Should he really settle for someone like Myrtle? She has a point. Well, even if we wanted to do that, how would we? I might have an idea. And now to make a love connection. Bingo. Um, Lincoln, bingo's not till four. Bad job, dude. That's gonna make Pop Pop way jealous. I bet he breaks it off with her tonight. Okay, Lynn, you're up. What's taking Lynn so long? Hi! <gasps> Mission accomplished. Okay, let's get out of here before anyone sees us. Too late! I see you! 
Oh, you angels came for my birthday party, didn't you? Of uh, course we are. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, well, here we are, Party Central. As soon as your Pop-Pop gets here, we can get this shindig started. Shouldn't we wait for the other guests, too? Oh, no other guests. What about your family? Well, I don't really have any. I was an only child, and somehow I never got around to getting hitched. I was just too busy traveling and living my life. And to be honest, I never really missed having a family until I met your Pop-Pop and you guys. And, well, I, I know you're not my real family, but gosh darn, you all sure feel like it. Um, Myrtle, can you excuse us for a second? We, um, all have to go to the bathroom. You take after your Pop-Pop. Okay, what gives, Lori? I don't have to tinkle. Don't you guys get it? This is why Myrtle's been smothering us so much. She never had a family of her own. She's probably just trying to make up for lost time. Yes, she can come on a little strong, but her heart's in the right place. I feel terrible. Me too. We should go apologize. Uh, guys, we have a bigger problem. We put that photo under Pop Pop's door. <laughs> okay, new plan. Twins, you distract Myrtle. Lynn and Lincoln, you get the photo back. The rest of us will find Pop Pop and keep him away from his room. Break! I knew you had your eye on my girl. That's not true. The left one's got a mind of its own. Pictures don't lie, Seymour. And now I'm gonna take it to you. Well, you're a crazy man. Yeah! Pop, pop, stop! Stay out of this, kids. Mr. Kissy Face has it coming. Dang it. See? Pop, pop, let him go. Let him go. What is going on? Pop, pop. Call Sue. Call him. I got 50 bucks on Al! Ha! Ah! Pop, Pop, no! The photo's fake! What? It's true. We made it on our computer. Why in the heck would you do something like that? The truth is, we were trying to break you and Myrtle up. Don't you like Myrtle? I think we just didn't understand her. She was smothering us like a pork chop. But we didn't realize it was because she never had a family. We may take it for granted that we have a big family, but not everybody's so lucky. We're really sorry for the way we acted. We hope you can forgive us? Of course I can. I know Myrtle can be a bit much, but that's also what I love about her. She's a spitfire. Ugh, bleh. This is getting too mushy for me. Scoot's out! Seymour, I think I owe you an apology, too. Nah, don't worry about it, Al. Don't we have a birthday party to get to? <laughs> you know it. Can I come, too? You're gonna have to, Seymour. I can't move my arms anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Gran Gran! Did you hear that, Al? They called me Gran Gran! Oh, thank you, everyone! Thanks for the cake and the party, Gran Gran. But we should probably get going. Okay, then I'll drop by tomorrow. Uh, how about Sunday instead? I got us tickets to the RV show tomorrow. Oh! Do you know those people? Hi, hello, Tony. You're related! I am so sorry. Uh, be right back. Why aren't you in your seats? Oh, don't mind us. I just wanted to see me bebe in action. Maria, where you been? T-Bone? <laughs> you still doing this? Hmm. Did you meet Elisa yet? Is she nice? Guys, be cool. She's just a person. <laughs> There she is! She's so talented! Ooh, snacks! I see imported cheeses! <clears throat> you are embarrassing me! Okay, fine. Just get some snacks and take them back to your seats. Alisa, coming through! <gasps> <gasps> this is Carlota Casagrande. Carlota Casa Grande. Gonna put my face on. <laughs> that was so good. I'm just warming up, Chica. Now, I want to get this party started, so don't skimp on that glitter. <laughs> glitter! Yes, I totally forgot the glitter in my bag. Be right back. <gasps> Abuela, what are you doing? Getting rid of this junk food. I want Felicia to have a good meal before the show. It's Alisa and I will make sure she gets your tamales. Now hurry back to your seat. <sighs> I'm back. I thought we would start with a soothing lavender toner. Just relax and... Close your eyes! So 
I can apply some foundation. <laughs> I like you. You take charge. Mom, are you kidding me? I don't know what happened. I was just admiring the jumpsuit. Next thing you know, I'm wearing it. I tried to stop her. Tia Maria, take it off now. Looking good. Okay, next I am going to apply some eyeshadow. <laughs> Is something wrong? No, you just look so amazing. <laughs> Can I open my eyes? No! It's very important that you keep them closed until I say so. Abuelo, put that down! If I can't give her my CD, I will play for her live. Can you not? Fine, then electric. Abuelo! <laughs> Alisa? It should have been me! Dad, you're supposed to be watching Carlitos and Carl. <gasps> oh no. Where's Carl? <gasps> you pay your manager 10%? <laughs> Bonita, I'll manage you for five. Carl! <gasps> Do you know those people? <laughs> no, that must be some crazy fan. 20 minutes to showtime, people! Please! Hi! Uh, I need a favor. My family is kind of distracting me. Could you, like, take them on a backstage tour until showtime? I see. It's not like I'm busy assisting a huge pop star or anything. I'll give you a free aloe facial. The tour bus does dry on my skin. Okay, mira, mira, who wants an exclusive peek behind the scenes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All done! Take a look! Ooh, amiga, I look amazing! I'm gonna get into costume and then we'll shoot the interview. Get ready to go viral! Oh, thanks, Blaze. We're all set. You can bring my family back now. Yeah, about that. I kinda lost them. Wait, what? You lost my family? They're gonna miss the show! Chica, you're the one who wanted to get rid of them? What's the big deal? What? I didn't want... I just... I... Okay, it's go time. Let's roll. Actually, I just need a minute. We don't have a minute. We need to shoot this interview. No! Hey guys, Carlota Casagrande here, and I am vlogging live from Great Lakes Arena with Elisa. Buenas noches, Great Lakes City. Weren't there some questions you wanted to ask me? Right, questions. I have so many questions to ask you. Like, um... Hey, oh, man. Tamales. You brought these tamales. Mm. These tamales are so fierce. Yeah, I know. Anyways, don't be nervous. You're doing great. I'm sorry, I can't do this. There's something really important I have to take care of. But you have 10,000 fans watching. <gasps> Abuelas tamales. Send up the A. This is all my fault. I told Blaze to get rid of you guys, but I never wanted this to happen. I'm sorry. No, Mija. It's our fault. We were kind of... Bad cuckoo for Alisa. True, but that doesn't matter. You guys are way more important to me than some celebrity interview. Uh, this is moving. No, I am moved by your support for me. Uh, no, Mika. The room is literally... Dad, please just let me say this, okay? I love you guys, and I'm sorry I was ever embarrassed by you. I should be embarrassed for myself. Oh, you will be! <gasps> Carlota? Hey! Sorry, we've embarrassed you enough. We're going back to our seats. Your makeup looks amazing, Alisa! Okay, bye. No, wait! Alisa, I lied to you. This is my family, and they might be a bit extra, but they go where I go, and I just wanted you to know that. Why didn't you say so? I may be famous, but I'm just a regular girl. I take my family to all my shows. You're doing great, Mia! It's so beautiful! Really? So, can we stay and watch the show? You know what? You can do better than that. Who wants to see the Casa Grandes help me sing a song? Yeah! 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 This one is about familia. When I was down, you picked me up, you helped me out. When I was stuck, sometimes we fight. We have trials and tribulations. 
conversations But if we both just settle down and find a little common ground I know our love will last for generations It's obvious to see I need a ride to the mall, so Lori told me to make her bet. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure she already has one. Wait, why are you doing chores for Lori? Aren't you old enough to drive yourself to the mall? Yeah, but I failed a driving test 12 times. Everyone's given up on teaching me. Dad's still mad about the fire hydrant paper boy nun incident. <laughs> Should I leave a note? <laughs> What if I teach you to drive? Wow! You have your license? Well, no, but I do have a crazy high score on Total Turbo 22, the world's awesomest racing video game. Fun! Wait, are there nuns in it? None that I know of. <laughs> okay, all you have to do is keep the steering wheel straight, and you'll... Like that? Um, let's try again. Just keep the wheel straight. Okay. One more time. The road is straight, so keep the wheel straight. <laughs> Lenny, you have to stay on the road. But what's the point? We're not going anywhere fun. Sure we are. We're going to, uh, the mall. <gasps> Why didn't you say so? Game on! Whoa! Go, Lenny! That was incredible! Out of my way, Granny! Easy there, Fast and Furious. But I have to get to the mall! The mall can wait. You've got a driving test to pass. <laughs> go, Lenny, go! Go, Lenny, go! Wait, the bus stop is that way! Go, Lenny, go! Go, Lenny, go! Did you pass? No, she did not. She did, however, refuse to obey the speed limit, failed to use her turn signals, and she redirected the test vehicle toward the mall, where she proceeded to hip check and tackle Mrs. Jelinski. It's not fair! When I did all that in the game, I won! You guys need to get your rules straight. This is a brake pedal. What does the brake pedal do? White shoes after Labor Day. Ew, stop. Exactly. I guess you won't be needing this. <laughs> this is the gas pedal. What does the gas pedal do? Boots from the 60s. Go, go. Yes. Lenny, I think you're ready for the next level. Night, Lenny. You're going to do great tomorrow. Night, Lincoln. Night, Lori. Click. Got it. Never check your mirrors. Always comment on your driving instructor's weight. Don't you need a ride to the comic book store? And lavender sheets. Don't forget. No, thanks. I think I'll wait for Lenny to get back from taking her driving test with her new license. Psh, she's not going to pass. Now, get to washing. Actually, I'm pretty sure she will pass. No, she won't. Because I made sure of it. Wait, what? Nothing. Uh, no you don't. So help me, Lori, I will shrink your favorite bobby sweater in the drawer if you don't tell me what you- Stop! Fine. <gasps> I might have sabotaged Lenny by giving her bad driving instructions while she slept, but it's just because if Lenny can drive, my room will never be clean and no one will ever need me for anything ever again. Are you crazy, woman? What if your bad driving instructions make Lenny crash? What if she gets hurt? I didn't think of that. We gotta get to the DMV. <sighs> oh, thank goodness she's okay. And maybe she passed. No, she did not. She did, however, drive on the wrong side of the road, neglected to check her mirrors, and commented on the driving instructor's weight. Well, that makes 14. Guess I'll have to drive a lawnmower forever. Look, Lenny, it wasn't your fault. 
Yes, it was. You worked so hard to help me pass. You even learned to speak Lenny. Which I still can't believe there's a country named after me. <sighs> I blew it. I was just thinking about all the fun places I would drive us to. The mall, the comic book store, the mall. I'm sorry I let you down. I can't take it anymore! It was my fault. I sabotaged your test. Sabotage? It's like she went and bought the dress she knew you wanted. <gasps> how could you? I'm really sorry, Lenny. But I know how to make it up to you. You'll buy me the dress? It was really nice of you to help Lenny practice for her next test. It's the least I could do. Is this the carpool lane? Lori, I lost track of time. Don't worry, we got you back. Okay, people. Operation Cover for Brother is a go. Man your stations! I told Lincoln I'd help him with his math homework. Oh, I'll be your plus one. <laughs> you get it? Oh, yeah. It's mine! I had it first! You don't even like yours! Girls! Oh, oh, oh you're so strong! Hey, Rance! Know what I'm jonesing for? A family sing-along! One, two, three! Approach at a 63-degree angle! Oh! oh. Correction, 62 degrees! Hi, parentals! We were just wondering how you two met. Really? Your father has told that story a thousand times. Now, now, honey, if they insist. And then, your mother walks by in an outfit that could stop traffic. It was my uniform. I was a crossing guard. Link, are you okay? We're coming in. <laughs> oh, sweetie, what's the matter? Thus, the trains will pass each other at precisely 4 p.m. Homework done. Looks like you don't need our help. I hope you didn't forget what today is. That's right, our annual spring cleaning day. Who's excited? But I was gonna get it. That's the spirit. Hey, can you cover for me today? The batting cages got a new pitching machine, and if I don't hit the first ball, I'll have bad luck all season. I get that, sure. Oh, thanks. I'll do my cleaning when I get back. Lincoln, uh, can you cover for me? I'm bringing Lily on a picnic with Bobby to see how he handles babies. You know, for the future. Um, I don't get that, but sure. Lori, can you check on Lily? I'm literally already on it. Uh-oh, who made a stinky surprise for her big sister? Poo-poo, poo-poo. I'm covering for Lori and Lily. Oh, then you won't mind covering for me while I hit the spring sales at the mall. Fine, but four sisters is my limit. Of course, no more sisters. Oh, one thing, I'm covering for six sisters, so I guess now you are too. What? <gasps> Don't worry, I wrote down where everyone's going. One floral crop top, $12.99. Oh, Lucy's at a poetry reading, Lisa's giving a lecture, Lana's checking out the first month of spring, Lenny, how am I supposed to... Thanks, Linky. Bye. <laughs> Lucy, Lynn, how's the cleaning coming? This calls for the trunk. <laughs> I scrub and scrub, yet the stain of human suffering remains. Okay. Not me, Mom. I'm knocking these dust balls out of the park. Good to hear. <sighs> Lenny, how's your spring cleaning coming? Good. As soon as I find those springs, I'll clean them. <laughs> I hear a lot of talking, but not a lot of cleaning. <laughs> ah, that's what I like to hear. And they said it couldn't be done. Time for a break, kids. Pop Pop's on video chat. He wants to say hi to all of you. Well, if it isn't my look-alike. Still got snow on the roof, eh? <laughs> sure do, Pop Pop. We're all doing our spring cleaning, so the sisters nominated me to say hello. 
I tell you, spring always puts me in the mood for a song. Why don't you bring Luna down? SOS, come home now! How I want what you are! Stage dive! Bravo! Tough act to follow, but I'd love to see some comedy from Luann. What does a nosy pepper do? Gets jalapeno business. <laughs> get it? <laughs> Hilarious. Now, go get those twins. I want to talk to Pop Pop first. No, me first. Girls, girls, there's plenty of Pop Pop for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you can make fun of me later. Right now, I've got Pop Pop in video chat, and he wants to see all of us. I'll go say hi right now. Hello, I already was you. And I was you too. I need a Lynn and a Lenny, stat. And I got a new outfit for half off, which was weird because none of it was missing. <laughs> Pop Pop wants to talk to Lisa. Lisa's not home yet. She is now, go. But I knew I was missing one key component, and that was sodium uh, sofa cushion. Have I seen Laura yet? Bring me the uh, the funny one again. I, I forgot to tell Lily something. No, it was Lenny. Or was it Lisa? Who are you supposed to be? Uh, Lon? See? I think that's it! We're done! Uh, nope. Pop Pop wants to say bye to all of us. Together. Now. Well, you kids really made my day. Talk to you soon. Bye, Pop Pop! So here's what we're gonna do. Spring cleaning will be moved to tomorrow so you can all do those things that were so important today. <laughs> There's just one catch. You all have to wear what you're wearing right now. So, if you'll look at the coefficient on line five. Uh-uh, ah! uh, no girly girls allowed. But guys, it's me, Lana! But guys, it's me, Lenny! Babe, I got you this. But now I'm afraid it might be a choking hazard. <laughs> Kyle, come play! But I'm still so hungry! Just get in! I can't because I'm having a great hair day! <laughs> can't ruin the do! But swimming brings out that beachy ah. wave look! Please! We need more minnows! Ew! Someone pooped in the pool! Oh, uh, uh, Code Brown! Everybody out! It's time to get you swimming, little cuz. No, it's time for me to get chocolate with sprinkles. Carl, my lifeguard senses are tingling. I get it. You haven't been in the water since your classes last summer. It's been a while. All you need is a little encouragement. So what? let's do this, partner. Wait, no, really. It's cool. Come on. As soon as you hit the water, you'll remember what to do. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's right. Get it all out. What happened? Did you get a cramp? It must have been everything you ate. <sighs> no, it wasn't. I... I've been lying. I don't know how to swim. And if my parents find out, I'll be in so much trouble. If you teach me to tie my shoes, I'll teach you to swim. Mm. No thanks, cuz. 
All I have to do is get through the day, and I'm in the clear. Guess what, Familia? I just got a great deal on swim passes for the summer. We'll be here every day. Oh, right on. Well, okay, deal's on. You want to learn the bunny ears method or loop, swoop, and pull? I don't know. They both sound really hard. Mr. Bunny, no! Okay, let's practice the backstroke. Wow, you're doing awesome. Wait a minute. Carl, I know that's not you. Get your butt in here. I expect a full refund. Don't worry, I'll hold you up, I promise. Good, you're doing great. We're in the shallow end. You can stand here. Attempted murder, then? I wasn't going to let anything happen. It's how you learn. You have to let go of your fear. I'm not scared anymore. You're just a bad teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Time for a group picture. Everyone in the pool. Todos en el agua. But I, uh, I can't. Get in, mijito. Uh, uh. No! Get in already! I can only hold this position for so long! Take the picture already, Dad! I can't get in because I... Because I pooped in the pool! <laughs> Not my proudest moment, but it happens. Again? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, everyone, Code Brown, out of the Good pool! Go. Thanks for doing that, but you didn't have to say the poop was yours. Oh, yeah. Good point. I'm sorry I called you a murderer. And I should have listened to you. You're actually a great teacher. Really? Uh-huh. And you were right. I am still scared of swimming. But if you can forgive me, maybe we can go back to training each other? No! <sighs> okay, let me go before anyone sees us. This feels kind of lame. Baby steps? Whoops! <laughs> Sorry. Remember, loop, swoop, and pull. Got it. No. Oh. Uh. Oh. That's okay. Baby steps. Remember, the water will hold you up. <gasps> I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Now, how do I get back up? So it's loop, swoop, and pull. Loop, swoop, and pull. I did it! I did it! I did it! I tied my shoes! I tied my shoes! You gotta work on your dance moves next. You're doing great, bud. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna let you go. Uh-huh. It's called Total Trash Takedown. You get five lives to get to the trash castle where you have to defeat the trash king. Oh, that sounds awesome! I'm almost at the end. I've been trying to finish it for weeks. Oh, look at all that trash! Ooh, what's that? Rotten apple. You have to collect three in each level before you can move on. That one has a worm in it! Sweet! <gasps> look out! <laughs> oh. My turn! My turn! Oh, I'm sorry, Lana. What? I don't have any boogers on my fingers. It's not that. I just got to the last level and I only have one life left. I can't risk losing it. As soon as I finish this level, you can play all you want. I'll just play for a few minutes, then go back to exactly where Lincoln left off. He'll never even know I touched it. <laughs> Trash hoard below? Uh, yes, please. Game over? Wait, what? No, 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 no! Back to the start? <gasps> if I can just get him back to the trash castle, he'll never know I played his game. But I can't do it alone. Will you guys help me? OM GOSH! Lincoln! I just found a ton of quarters at the bottom of my purse. 
Want to go to Gus's Games and Grub and play that dancing game? Lenny, we've talked about this. Are you sure they're quarters? Yes? Well, I appreciate it, but I've got other plans. Maybe another time? <sighs> Lincoln, ah! bone-chilling news. They just opened a new zombie escape room downtown. <gasps> That sounds awesome! We should go sometime! The time is now. The first 20 people in line get in for free. For free? Well, I wanted to play my game, but how can I turn on a free zombie escape room? Let's go! And that's how it's done. Ha <laughs> ha, thanks, guys! Okay, Lynn and Lisa, it's game time! Okay, guys, just one level left before we get to the trash castle. According to my calculations, you should have at least a half an hour until Lincoln gets home. Crud! They're on their way back. What? How? Lincoln was really good at that escape room. They finished with 20 minutes to spare. Uh, I need more time! I got this. Lori, you're up! I'm literally on it. <laughs> Crazy running into you guys. Get in. I'll give you a ride home. That's okay. We're almost there. Oh, but you must be so tired from your escape room. Come on. Yes, yeah. very tired. Thanks, Lori. <laughs> Lana, we gotta finish this level now. Lincoln is almost home. Oh, this game is impossible. Now I see why it took Lincoln so long to get to the trash castle. <gasps> the finish dumpster. That's the end of the level. <laughs> No, 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 no! That was my last life! <gasps> Run, Lana! Save yourself! Hey, Lons, what are you doing? Oh, I messed up. <gasps> what happened? I thought I could play your game for just a little bit, but I lost your last life. Uh, no, Lana! It took me two weeks to get to the last level. Uh, I can't believe you did this. I'm so sorry. I spent all day trying to get you back to the trash castle. Lynn and Lisa even helped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I died right before I could make it. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? No, just leave me alone. I have a lot of work to do. Hey. I don't want to interrupt, but I just wanted to tell you, I did all your chores. And I made you this snack tray. I got your favorite kind of flippy, cherry and blue bonanza, and those smelly crackers you like. Oh, thanks. And this part is so tough. Yeah, though if you time your jumps to the music, you'll avoid all the potholes. Wait, really? <laughs> Oh, it worked! Hey, do you know any more tricks? Yeah, I actually learned a ton of them before, you know, ruining your game. Wanna help me play? Uh, are you sure? Even after everything I did? Yeah, I can tell you're really sorry. Hey, after I finish my game, maybe we can start a new one for you. <gasps> you are the best! <laughs> Focus, Clyde. We're supposed to be looking for my birth story. Here's Luna's. Here's Lynn's. Here's Lucy's. Aha! Here's mine. Huh. The section for my birth story is blank. That's okay. I'm sure Mom and Dad remember it. Your birth story? Yeah. It's not in my baby book. Uh, that's weird. <laughs> what, what do you want to know? Well, what time of day was I born? Morning. Night. Okay, how much did I weigh? Nine Seven pounds. pounds. What was the doctor's name? Dr. Dr. Patel. What is going on? Nothing. Nothing! At least you agree on that one. Well, I was really little, but I do remember how excited we were to finally have a brother. We thought for sure you'd be a girl. Why would you think that? Mom and Dad already had your room decorated for one. At first we thought they brought home the wrong baby. <laughs> <laughs> 
slide. That's it. It's just like Ricky the Wrong Baby. Ricky's so-called parents wanted a boy so badly, they paid a doctor to switch babies. My parents already had five girls. It makes total sense. It would explain the white hair. Come on, Clyde. We have to get to the bottom of this. Okay, here are the local birth announcements from the day I was born. We need to find all of these families and see if one of them could be mine. Great plan, Lincoln. Or, I mean, whatever your name really is. Ow! I hate these drought-resistant lawns. I sure hope it's not this house, because we'd be going to different schools. Just thinking about that makes my feet sweat. I wouldn't worry about it, Clyde. With the luck we're having... Ah! The white hair! And look at her hair! It looks just like Lori's! What does everyone want for dinner? Spicy subs! Spicy subs! Hair like Lori's? Plays a guitar like Luna? Eats like Lynn? That girl is allowed! We don't know that! <sighs> Let's face it, Clyde. Those white-haired people are my real parents. I'm gonna have to move here and start my life all over. You can't! How are we gonna stay best friends? Do walkie-talkies even reach this far? Will your new parents even let me sleep over? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll work it out. But first, I have some choice words for my so-called parents. Can we help you, son? Son, that's an interesting choice of words. Yeah! Is there something wrong, boys? Yes, I know my real birth story. You do? Yep, you really had another girl, but you didn't want another girl, did you? You wanted a boy. So what did you do? You paid off the hospital to look the other way. Then you made the old switcheroo with some poor unsuspecting family across town. What do you have to say for yourselves? Yeah, for shame. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you find ruining my life funny. <laughs> oh, oh, we're sorry, honey. We don't mean to laugh. It's just that you're way off base. Oh, Lincoln, of course you're our son. Why don't you sit down? It's time you know the real story of your birth. Okay, you too, Clyde. Well, the day you were born got off to a... Pretty normal start. My water broke. We called Pop Pop. He came over to watch your older sisters. I drove your mother to the hospital in Vanzilla, but not surprisingly, she broke down. Uh, the van, not your mother. And that's when things stopped being normal. We were afraid you were gonna be born on the side of the road, but thankfully, a black limo pulled up. Could have knocked me over with a feather. It was the president and the first lady. When I told them what was going on, they offered to give us a ride to the hospital. Everything was looking fine again, but you weren't a very patient baby. We weren't going to make it to the hospital. You were going to be delivered by the president until he passed out. Then the first lady took over. What an amazing woman. She was so cool under pressure. Of course, you had to hear that from me since you were passed out too. That's not how I remember it. Lincoln, wait until you tell this story to our class. It's gonna totally blow away the story about Liam's water birth. Sorry, sweetie, but you can't tell your class, remember? It's top secret. Oh, right. Sorry about that, son. It's okay, Dad. I'm just glad you can still call me that. Aww. Bring it in, kiddo. <laughs> it's just too beautiful. Uh, Clyde, that's a piece of American history. 